this this what they believe. This is what this the picture they painting for you every single day. This fight ain't being made. When all the facts point to one person not making this fight happen. And that's Manny Pacquiao. They his team, Bob Arum, all of them together, that camp with the seventeen thousand changing stories. It's all them. Then you get all these coattail riders like Gabriel Montoya trying to be me. And now all of a sudden he argues with me against these subjects. But then he goes ahead and sides with me. It's it's very weird. You know, imitation is flattery, I guess. But this is the picture they want to paint for you every single day. To try to force Mayweather into a fight. Well, he's the one that signed the contract. He's not having a problem. The guy that's having a problem is the guy that's taking three years to take a drug test. You know, it's getting a bit ridiculous here. Three years and you still don't want to take the test? You still talking about um, you want people to, to be acknowledged? I understand what Bob's doing. He don't want to take it. He'd rather put in a fight with Bradley in a heartbeat. You know, he's already gearing up for it. He knows what he's doing. But, to the brainwashed. I had this guy walk up to me, what was that, Sunday. He saw the Mayweather shirt I had and was like, like, yeah, man, all I want to know is when he, your boy taking that test. When he going to uh, fight because he said he taking the test. I could say I'm going to Vegas. I could say I'm going to Paris, France, but unless I'm actually willing to buy the ticket to go to Paris, France, I could be full of you know what, <laughs> and that's how it should be taken. Why is May Pacquiao getting all these allowances when it comes to him, when it's clearly he's not that guy? Okay, they try to portray him as the, oh my gosh, he's such a great Catholic. Now they had to back off that because he found out he's just as mortal as everybody else. And he can't meet the Pope, which he wanted to. They really were going to play the Catholic card to the end. And they realized they don't need to do that. Because that's, that you're going to upset a lot of people going down that way. Using the Evander Holyfield faith trip. That'll explode right in your face. But... I can't understand for the life of me why the majority of the people are just so blind. And I mean, even our own kind. And I mean, I'm like, you black. <laughs> you should know better. You should know they trying to fool you. You should see it coming. You should see all this garbage. This is all brainwash brainwash and you falling for it like head first falling for brainwash you gotta get out of that low self esteem thinking stop believing ESPN Skip Bayless and, and Bassard are not boxing experts they're sports entertainers okay they entertain you. They probably never played a sport in their life. All they do is watch the sports. They know nothing about boxing. They probably never covered it until Mayweather De La Hoya. At least Stephen A. Smith was going to the fights. He was at Mayweather Judah. He was at these fights. What are these guys doing? They're not even, I don't even know what they're talking about, basically. They, they have no knowledge as to what is going on. And De La Hoya, I will address that at a later date. And click the link below if you want to see the groundbreaking article.